story begins in the rural Australian town of Urana. And one night, a bunch of people come out of their graves. You know, they're not all missing bits and they're not zombies. But they don't remember virtually anything. Of who they are or how they got there. Myself, Sergeant James Hayes, arrives and calls for backup. What's happened? I've no idea, but there's more than one of them. Dr. Alicia McKellar, what's your name? What is this? Who are these people? Are they having some sort of satanic ritual? Or they don't go, oh, these people have clearly come out of their graves. He and Dr. Alicia take them to the surgery. James walks in, sees Kate. Who is his ex-wife who's died. You can't be Kate. But, oh my gosh. I've remarried. Oops, her best friend. Oops. That's Sarah. And is about to have a baby with my character, Sarah. Needless to say, very upsetting and confusing. It's a tricky situation. And then something weird happens. We have a glitch. Slowly, one by one, they start to recall who they are. The memories they have of their previous life are in the form of these glitches. And they're back from, you know, all different eras. That's you! First mayor of Urana. Died 1864. Died? We've got Charlie, ex-World War I soldier. Yeah. We've got Kirsty. She was a teenager in like the 80s. Kate, my character, died two years ago. You've got Carla, who's an Italian guy, doesn't speak a word of English. To complicate things... If they go a certain distance from the centre of town... Their eyes start to bleed. Because we're walking to this invisible boundary. And they die. Carlo is the first to go. He explodes into dust. It's all very secret. They don't want anyone to know what's happened. I'm asking you to keep this between us. Otherwise, we'll become lab rats. Now all that's left is Maria, me, Kirsty, Kate, John Doe, and Paddy, the mayor, who's gone off with the young boy who saw us coming out of the graves, Bo. Meanwhile, my former mentor, Vic Eastley, has started to smell a rat. He's kind of poking around going, what's going on? There's trouble at the cemetery. And he's going back to his hometown. And then has a car crash on the way. He dies. But then he comes back. And he is definitely changed. Where are they? He's obsessed with tracking down the Risen. Vic works out that Alicia's working for Norgard. Vic, with the help of John Doe, because he's talked John Doe into it, these Risen are uh, an abomination, they need to be got rid of. What do you call that? To kill them, basically. Vic captures the Risen, <laughs> packs them all up and puts them in his car and goes to drive to the boundary to murder them all. And turn them into ashes, a la Carlo. So James follows with Alicia. James gets there just in time. And there's a big showdown on the bridge. Policeman James, good, honest cop. Shoot Vic in the head. Pop. He's gone. We think for good. We bury Vic. I take John back with me. John feels betrayed by her for bringing him back and uh, ends up sort of walking out into the bush and that's the last we see him. In the meantime, while that is happening, Sarah is giving birth to James's daughter in the hospital. But then Sarah starts bleeding out everywhere. Like a postpartum hemorrhage. And she gets wheeled to emergency. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, she comes back. They tell him that she's totally fine, that she's okay. But the doctor informs me that she was gone for a second there. But she came good. And then I get a call from Chris back at the station and he tells me that Alicia McKellar... She died at Epworth Hospital four years ago. So I don't know what to think, but I know I've got to sort stuff out. And that's the end of the first season. That's the first season. I think you're up to date.